In this lesson, we'll discuss gram to mole conversions for compounds. Please have your note sheet, calculator, and periodic table handy. As you know, if we want to convert between grams and moles, we need to use molar mass. Let's discuss how we find the molar mass for a compound this time. Remember when we tried to determine the empirical formula for a compound, we looked at the subscripts in terms of mole ratios between uh, elements. And that's kind of how we want to think about the subscripts here. For carbon dioxide, CO2, we can think about one carbon atom for every two oxygen atoms, or think larger numbers, one mole of carbon for every two moles of oxygen. And so then to determine the molar mass for a compound, we're going to add up the molar masses for each element, multiplying by the subscripts when necessary. So for example, what is the molar mass of magnesium nitrate? Well, we need to look at our periodic table for magnesium. The molar mass is 24.31 grams per mole. For the nitrogen, the molar mass is 14.01 grams per mole. And there are two of those nitrogens. So times 2. And then for the oxygen, 16 grams per mole is the molar mass. And there are 6 of those, so times 6. If you add that all up, the sum is 148.33 grams per mole. That's the molar mass for magnesium nitrate. Now that we know how to find molar masses for compounds, we can convert back and forth between grams and moles for compounds. So if you have 184.27 grams of silver chloride, a compound, um, we can determine how many moles of silver chloride we have by using the molar mass for silver chloride. Okay, so silver its molar mass is 107.87 grams per mole, and there's only one of them. And then for the chlorine, 35.45 grams per mole is the molar mass. And if we add that together, we get 143.32 grams per mole. That is the mass of one mole of silver chloride. We have 184.27 grams, so we have over uh, that mass. We're going to have more than one mole, but now let's set up the proportion and convert. 184.27 grams is to x moles as 143.32 grams is to one mole. And when we solve that, we get 1.2857 moles of silver chloride, so over one mole as predicted. I did five significant figures because 184.27 has five significant figures. Next, if you need 12.45 moles of nickel-3 chloride, how many grams do you need? Well, in order to find the molar mass, which we need to convert from moles to grams, we will need a chemical formula for nickel-3 chloride. So nickel with a plus-3 charge and then the chlorine with a negative-1 charge gives us NiCl3. So now all we need is the molar mass for that compound, and then we can convert from moles to grams. So nickel is 58.69 grams per mole, and there's just one nickel and chlorines are 35.45 grams per mole and there are three of them, so times three. When we add that all together, 165.04 is our molar mass. So now let's convert from moles to grams. 165.04 is the mass of one mole. We don't have one mole, we have 12.45 moles. So let's multiply. We 
With four significant figures, we get 2,055 grams. And that's our final answer. For this last problem, I would like for you to try to solve it, and we will go through the answer in class.